So I'm going to use the same example of the full year depreciation of the van. And now we're going to look how the depreciation expense is going to be different when we buy the van in a partial month. Okay, so generally, if we look in the month of when we buy the van, so if you buy the van on the first up to and including the 15th, then what we do is we'll book a full month's depreciation in that month. But in the same month, if you buy the van from the 16th to the 31st, we're actually just not going to record any depreciation for that month when we bought it. So I just want to compare and contrast what this looks like. So again, if we take into consideration that van, that was 8,000 per year, and now I just want to divide that by 12 because I want to see what this is per month. And that comes out to, we'll just round it, $667 per month. Now, if we took that $41,000 and we bought the van, on let's say April 9th and if I'm recording my depreciation on a yearly basis and I still have that December 31st year end then what we'll have is April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So since this is the 9th and it fits between this period, 1st and the 15th, I'm going to record $667 in April and in May and in June and July and August and September and October and November, December. So that ends up being nine months. So if you do 667 and multiply that by nine months, then when I record the depreciation expense at the end of the fiscal year, I'm going to record $6,003 for depreciation expense. Now, if we take that same van and pretend that we purchased it instead on April 16th, or let's even just say April 20th, then it fits into this period. So then it says don't record any for April. So in April, I won't record depreciation for April, but I will record it for May, and June, and July, and August, and September, and October, and November, and December. So that's actually eight months. So if you take eight times six, six, seven, that gives me 5336. And that's how much depreciation expense we would record on the van if we bought it on April 20th. So now what a lot of companies do is they'll just say it doesn't matter whenever they buy their van. If it's at the beginning of the year or the end of the year or the beginning of the month or the end of the month, they'll just use a partial year rule which means they'll just take 50% of the amortization in the first year that they bought it. But if we're gonna do it like this, just in student life, this is how you would actually make the decision of how much depreciation we're going to record. And that's it.